Look at that, that's a big old boy. Good morning, it is another day of working on the Heavy Wrecker. We have got a lot to do to get this finished, but all I'm worried about is the next step. And the next step is we need the drivetrain in here. We need the engine transformation and transfer case. So after doing a little research and talking with some friends, I have decided that I want the big block 496. It's known as the 8.1 Chevrolet motor. Some people call it the big block LS, even though it's not, and we'll never call it that again. We decided on what type of engine to run like two days ago. So we headed up to my friend Gumby's junkyard to see if he had anything that we could use in this. Good morning, I'm out looking for parts, looking for engine, transmission, just other parts, maybe some parts for some other build. I'm gonna be meeting up with Paul from Fab Rats, Robbie Layton, gonna be meeting Johnny Boy, Tom Tom. We're all heading up to my buddy Gumby's place to look through his junkyard. He's got a junkyard there at Lake Point. We're just gonna kinda have a fun day looking at stuff. There's actually a few things that we need to do on the way there while we're there and on the way back, and I'm gonna show you those as we're doing them. Trevor's back at the shop. He's working on the cab, kind of getting it stripped down and cleaned up a little bit. I'm gonna be meeting Paul here in a few minutes. We're gonna be going to Jason's house in Gunnison. He's gotta pick up a front seat for the giveaway car that he's been working on. So that's what's happening next. Well, I'm here a half hour late. So this is my buddy, Jace. You know his brother Rowdy from Schultz's. That's what he's my steel dealer. Looks like Paul and Michelle are gonna forgive me for being late. She said, we don't need to get up that early. Matt's going to be late. All right, so Paul got his seat from Jace. I did most of the work. Now we're headed to Robbie's. Jace says he's not coming. I'm not. Because he got to coach Little League. But I did invite him, so are we're you even. feeling hurt that I turned you yeah, down? Yeah, yeah. And we're even now. Uh, well, even for what? Do, do I owe you something? Oh, yeah. You got a cold Mountain Dew? All right, well, thanks, guys. We'll see you next time. And we'll derby sometime in the future. Hopefully. So the next stop we have is Robbie Layton's. I'm gonna be picking up the trailer to take up to Johnny Boys for Tom Tom to fix. That'll all make sense when you see it. We're gonna be picking up Robbie. We're gonna be taking some exhaust to get coated. But that is the next stop. We're here. We made it to Robbie Layton's, the famous Robbie Layton. <laughs> Five days of no monster. I didn't realize you were addicted to monsters. Oh, bad. It was movie magic. I only had two that day, but. I know, but like. But even still, like I need They're to, horrible they're for so you, horrible. Robbie. I know. I'm not addicted to Mountain Dew. And I tell him that all the time. I thought you said you had something for him. So, a fan came by two days ago and gave us a roof rack for his 400. So it's got, I mean, it's just a factory, but it'll work until he gets something aftermarket. But it's got all the caps, it's got all the bolts. Do you know how the roof is leaking? This will stop the rain from coming in. Yes. We'll grab that on the way back. Tyler, thank you so much. All right, so we're here at Robbie's shop. We got a couple things to pick up here. We got the exhaust for the golden nugget that's getting coated. So we also got to pick up the trailer, take it up. Tom Tom's going to fix it in Johnny's shop. The tongue of the trailer was a guess. They guessed wrong. Now they're going to get it right. All right, we're coming in here to where the real work happens. Oh, look <laughs> yeah. at that. So, um... Got Ed here. Oh, I'll let me show. I can't believe how good this color looks. It is, it really like does. sometimes when you paint things, the, the color like doesn't match what yep. the thing is. The color matches this thing. Oh, it's, I think it's perfect now, Matt. This isn't as hard as Robbie says it is. <laughs> All right, so this is great. I came up here with Paul. We came to check out the golden nugget, see how the work's been going on it. Cody, Robbie, dinner. Holy smokes, Hillbilly, you guys have been just cranking on this thing. It is beautiful. Like things always show up better on video. This is better in person than it is on video. I'm super excited about this. So I'm gonna give them a passing grade and uh, give you one more month to work on it. Okay. Or I'm repossessing it. No, No, three more weeks. No, we got a month. No, we said, said a month. Three. three. One month. All right, so, so Robbie negotiated me down to three weeks. <laughs> All right. So here's the trailer. Tom guessed on the tug height. I don't even know if guest is the right word, but that's where it got built. It's wrong. It's low, like 16 inches. It's pretty low. It's pretty low. So we're going to load this up in the truck. We're going to take it up there. Tom's going to meet us at Johnny Boy's. He's going to fix it. And we're going to bring it back tonight. Okay, let's get this loaded. Perfect. Remember, it's here. I'm going to do my part. So they're just blasting this. They're just blasting it, and then they're picking it back up on the And you're Cerakoting it here. Here. All right. Okay, grab your stuff, let's get out of here. So our next stop is Powder Extreme Coatings to drop off the Nugget exhaust. And then from there, we're headed to... Thule. Out in the Thule's. Out in the Thule's. 
So we just got the exhaust dropped off at Powder Extreme Coatings. They're gonna get it blasted up. Prismatic Powders are gonna pick it up, take it to Robbie's shop and show them how to do the coating. Next stop, Johnny Boy's house. And Tom Tom's there waiting for us with his welding mitts on. Oh, I caught you. Slacking off over here. All right, so we're here with Tom Tom in his Bill Stein shirt. We're here with Johnny Boy not in his Bill Stein shirt. We're gonna let it slide this time. Okay. All right, we're gonna get that trailer in here. We're gonna get it fixed right now. Who's doing what? You, yeah, this is your baby. All right. You broke it, you gotta fix it. Uh, okay. Johnny boy, tell me one more time what I need to do. He needs to go over there and eyeball this to make sure He needs sure it's me smooth. to eyeball it and I am on it. This is what I do. I've trained my whole life for this moment. Johnny, go that way like one half of a degree. Put that other tack on. All right. You happy with that? I sure am. When we built this, I thought we were gonna use a drop hitch coming off of the Golden Nugget and we could just keep this nice and flat. But it has a really weird receiver tube on the back so we can't just buy a drop hitch for it. So instead, we're building a gooseneck to make this come up and meet it. So we got a number, 29 and 3 eighths is where the ball is. This is gonna have to come up, then we'll come over and we'll have our hitch right here at Golden Nugget height. 29 and 3 eighths, right there. Look at that gooseneck. Holy smokes. Woo. Yeah, you saw here first. Right, All right, so here's the deal. We've got this fixed. We're gonna leave it here. We're gonna load it up later. It's now time to play because that's what we came here for. The whole reason for this whole entire trip that everything else got tacked onto is about to happen now. I have a dumb question. Just tow this with your truck. Uh, somebody already asked that dumb question. <laughs> Never mind, I'll just wait for the video. <laughs> all right, so we are loaded up. Paul's already taken off. He's probably gonna go try to find all the good stuff first. So we're about to put the, we're about to drop the hammer. That's what they say, we're Can about to punch it. Can punch it? Get blue still moving. All right, this is the real reason we came. There's real re there, no, you never do thing one thing at a time. You do everything. This is the main, this is the core of the apple right here. In case you can't tell, some of us are pretty excited yeah. about what's about to go down. This is, oh I've got, I will show you inside of buildings. There's just lots and lots of garbage. Do you have a, do you have any known good 8.1? The cars that were around here when we took possession were here before the 8.1s came out. The this game. So this is amazing. It's kind of overwhelming. All right, we think we may have found something. We've got what appears to be a six liter LS engine. It's a great power plant for lots of things. Looks like Robbie chased down some kind of a jump box. How many miles are on it? 213,000. Yeah, I checked the oil and checked everything. Does it say anything? Service airbag. Power steering work. Transmission. Probably no driveline. We found our little gym in the junkyard. And it runs. That's, yeah, that's best up. part is it runs. So Johnny Boy found a third seat for his Suburban. You know the Suburban. It's the one that he was using to climb up slip lock. <laughs> But I heard that that Suburban's going to Alaska up to his cabin up there. So say goodbye to the Suburban, but at least it'll have a third seat. Oh, he's already got, got it. Got that it. was fast. Okay, close that door. So, They're just really friendly. So you can't see them. That's why they call them no see -ems. I call them gnats. But they're biting. They're biting all of us. Biting gnats in the hordes. They last here in Lake Point for about three weeks till it gets to about 86, 87 degrees and it burns them off. You all just picked the most prime time. Yeah, it's feeding season. So we came, we looked at some stuff. We all came, of us we looked saw, we come. All of us was just looking at stuff for a while. We found some stuff. Paul got him a couple things. He's got a car, axles, two cars. I found myself an engine that I was looking for. Johnny Boy got a back seat. Tom Tom found some back axles he's going to look for. And then this is kind of a sore spot, Robbie. I'm on the waiting list. <laughs> Robbie's on the waiting list for a couple of 6 O's. We're going back to Johnny Boy's. 
I'm getting some stuff that Tom Tom brought for me. I'm giving him some stuff that I brought for him. And then we're, we're going to dinner. dinner. All right, so I had Tom Tom bring me down some cool stuff. I left all the burrs on there so you could clean them up. Let's give Lizzie something to do. Look at that. That is the Dana 60 that's going in the front of the banana. Oh, you're doing it finally? Yes. About after, time. after five broken you yes. Do you remember way back when, early in our friendship when you were building the banana? Yeah. And I said, just put one tons in it and save yourself a whole bunch of trouble. And here he is following your advice. Yeah. Like seven years later. What a good friend does is he listens. There's no chances there. <laughs> Okay guys, do you think we can just throw this up in there? I will grab these. Look at that. So here's where we're at. We got the trailer loaded in the truck. We got the axle loaded in the truck. We got the plates loaded in the truck. Thank you, Tom. Got the gooseneck fixed. Johnny boy got the parts for his thing. I'm hiring Trevor here to pull the engine out of the Yukon Denali. Gumby's gonna be bringing that by. Tom, Tom, you got everything you needed? Yeah, I'm ready. Robbie got some promises, and we're going to dinner. Johnny's not coming though, because he hates driving into Salt Lake That's City. Right. Don't worry, I got some crackers I can eat or something. All right, well, thank you. Oh, thank you for coming. It was fun. So I owe Robbie like 12 more dinners. Tom Tom's filling in for big dinner and for Hillbilly tonight. So, oh, you got, uh, Matt's getting off easy. You got your work cut out for you, because <laughs> I'm making you stay till you eat it. So, you guys probably don't know Scott yet. Oh, you've seen him on Fabrat's channel, some of you have. But you're gonna be seeing him a lot more because he's gonna be helping us with the hydraulics on the heavy wrecker. Okay, we're done eating. We got a long drive ahead of us, me and Robbie. I'm to you back up to Idaho Falls. Everybody else, we don't even know if Paul and Michelle are gonna find a motel tonight. There is no driving available tonight. So uh, it might be the truck for us. All right, me and Robbie are back at Robbie's shop. Dinner came down here. Got the telehandler ready so we can lift this trailer out and get it dropped off. Robbie can go to bed and I can go home. Yeah, you got a long drive ahead of you. Yeah, yeah. All right, so we've got Robbie dropped off. We've got a three hour drive, so that's where I'm headed now. Good morning. It is a new day and we're here in the shop, but not for long because we're headed back up to Northern Utah to pick up a Suburban that Johnny Boy bought. So the whole reason I went up to Gumby's Junkyard in the first place was to try to find a motor for this record. Well, on the way home last night, Johnny Boy called me and he said, hey, there is a Suburban with an 8.1 in it for sale right in his town. And he went over and looked at it, said it was worth buying. So long story short, Johnny Boy ended up buying it. Now we're going up to grab it. We're gonna pull the motor out of it and we're gonna stick it in this wrecker. Four hours later, we arrive at Johnny Boy's. So like I said, after I came up here to find parts at Gumby's shop and left, that's when Johnny Boy calls me and says, hey, there's one for sale locally with an 8.1. So that's why we're back here. And this is it. Oh my goodness, look at that. There it is. The whole thing's made out of metal and plastic. <laughs> yep. She's a beaut, Clark. All right, thank you, Johnny, for helping me find this, for going and calling the guy, test driving it, doing all that stuff. Yep. So the plan is to get it loaded up on the trailer, drive all the way back to Hurricane. Tomorrow morning, Trevor's going to pull this motor, and we're going to drop it in the frame of the wrecker. That's what's going to happen next. All right, so do any of you recognize this guy, LT from Truck Tech, Power Nation TV? That's right. Back in the day. Now you're, you've got a YouTube channel, Lawrence Tolman. Yep, Lawrence LT Tolman, and I, I have fun and I build trucks pretty much. Still doing the same cool stuff. Engine swaps, tuning, going fast. Exactly, yep. All right, the reason we're looking at this truck is this is an 8.1 liter. He's got a bunch of stuff done to it. He's got the turbocharger and high flow injectors. What other stuff? Well, basically, this is a this is a pretty simple setup. That's a 100% complete bone stock junkyard 8.1. Of course, it does have the 80 millimeter turbo on the side and big injectors, but I have not cracked this thing open once. Um, stock valve spring, stock ring gap, and it makes only 
580 horsepower, but 906 pounds of torque <laughs> on 14 pounds of boost. All right. So Lawrence here told me that I want an 8.1 in the heavy wrecker. And with his credentials, I decided to listen to him. And the more I find out, the more I realize he knows what he's talking about. So that's why I bought the Suburban and he was on the way home. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna drop in and crash his party tonight and look at his stuff. So we're gonna stand here and look at it for a minute. And you're probably gonna see a little bit more of Lawrence in the future as we're building the heavy wrecker because he's my 8.1 guru. So my only question is how long is it gonna take for me to convince you that you need one of those on the <laughs> side? I've, I've already thought about it. I think we're gonna leave it pretty stock at first. It might take some talking to get me to do one of those, if we have room. So we're gonna be here for a minute and then it's back on the road. You're gonna see us tomorrow morning pulling the motor in the Suburban and working on the heavy wrecker. Look at that. This is the Suburban that Johnny Boy found me. I'm super happy with it. I call it exhaust leak because the exhaust is rusted out. All right, so we've got to get into the shop. We've got to get the wrecker out. We've got to get the Suburban in and then Trevor's going to pull the motor. Look at that, that's a big old boy. All right, we're gonna jump into this. Oh yeah, let's get after it. I'm gonna pull the rest of this wiring harness because Johnny Boy wanted it saved and then disconnects the drive lines and the motor mounts and transmission mounts and comes out. I think we'll find out. <laughs> we sure will. So Trevor and Lizzie and I think Erica worked on it. They were able to get this down to this point today. That was crazy. A lot of work got done today. I do want to talk to you about what we're going to be doing next week. So the plan next week is to get this lifted out of here and we're going to keep it together and set it in the record. Get us an idea of how it's going to lay in there. Something that's interesting that I found out about this motor is this was called the Duramax killer. Back in 2003, this motor would out pull a Duramax. Not by much, but it would, it had more torque than a Duramax. But the downside of that is it burned three times more fuel to get that job done. But it has a very quick throttle response, gobs and gobs of torque, 455 pounds of torque as it sets right now. And it's pretty much done making power uh, just before 5,000 RPM. So it's kind of a low RPM torque monster that has a lightning quick throttle response. That is why I chose this motor. All right, so I'm super excited to get this set in the wrecker and see if we can get the cab fit around it, how intrusive it's gonna be in the cab and just figuring out all that stuff. Um, my goal is to keep the cab about where it is as close as possible. Hopefully we can do that. So once again, I'd like to thank all of you that have donated for the all abilities part, but I'd also like to thank all of you that watch the videos. That is a great way to support what we're doing here with these fundraisers, appreciate that. For those of you that want to donate and haven't yet your time is running out midnight tonight is when we're going to be closing that so just a heads up on that now we're going to go eat hot dogs thanks for watching got skunked huh peacocks two matt zero